Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the simple voice chat mod for Forge on your server. We've also made a fabric tutorial, so if you want to check that version out instead, the link will be in the description. Firstly, you'll have to head over to the official download page. The link will be in the description. Then you should press this files tab. Here you'll have to look for the version of Minecraft you want to download this mod for. Make sure it says Forge next to it though and not Fabric. To download your chosen file, press the arrow next to it. And when this window pops up, simply wait a couple seconds. Once your file's downloaded, make sure to press Keep. It's crucial that you press keep to any files required in this tutorial. We can assure you it won't harm your computer. We then recommend dragging the downloaded files to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. To be able to play with this mod on Forge, it is necessary that you have Forge itself downloaded. To do that, you'll need to head to this page. The link for this will also be in the description. On the left, you'll see all of the Minecraft versions available for download. Click on the version you want to download, but make sure you select the same Minecraft version as the mod you downloaded, as well as the latest version of Forge. It'll redirect you to this page. You'll need to wait a couple seconds and then press skip for your file to download. Once the download is ready, double click it to open this installer window. If this window doesn't pop up for you, that may be because you don't have the latest version of Java. In order to fix that, we recommend checking out our how to download Java video. You can do that by pressing the I in the top right. Afterwards, ensure that the install client option is selected and then press OK. When this window appears, simply wait until it has successfully installed the client to close the tabs. Then you should confirm that the Forge client has been downloaded properly by opening the Minecraft launcher. If the client pops up on the bottom left, then it's working as intended. For this next step, press the Windows key and the R key at the same time to open this window. In the text box, you'll want to type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. When this file explorer window is open, you should go ahead and double click on your .minecraft folder. In here you should see a mods folder. However, if there isn't one, making a new folder and naming it mods will work the same. Afterwards, open the mods folder and drag the simple voice chat mod you previously downloaded into it. You can then close this files explorer window. To confirm that the mod installation has worked, go into your Minecraft launcher and launch the client you just downloaded. If you see a mods tab with the simple voice chat mod on the list, the installation was successful. Now to get the mod onto your server, you'll want to head over to the server.pro website. If you don't have a VPS Minecraft server, we have a video on how to set it up. So click the eye in the corner to watch that tutorial or click the link in the description. Once you're ready, open up your control panel. For this part, we recommend that when you're creating a Forge server, you create a brand new service. This is so there are no conflicts with previous files. If you have a powerful enough VPS, you can run multiple Minecraft servers at the same time. But if not, you can simply stop your previous one and use them interchangeably. To create a new service, head over to the Create a Service tab and from the drop down list, select Forge. Below it, there will also be a Forge version tab. Make sure that the version selected is the same one as the Forge client and mod you downloaded. Usually, you'd want the latest version of Forge here. Once you've selected the version, click install near the bottom and your service should be created. Before proceeding, head to the New Services dashboard and then to the Shell tab. Here you just want to make sure the server is fully booted up. You'll know it is if it says done. Now to install the simple voice chat mod on your Minecraft server, you'll need to head to the files tab. If you don't see a mods folder here, you can create one by clicking create in the top corner and naming it mods. But if there's one already there, simply drag the simple voice chat mod file into the folder. Once it's uploaded, it's recommended you restart the server for the changes to take effect. Afterwards, quickly head back to the shell tab to make sure the server is fully booted up again. If it is, you can now open your Minecraft launcher. Make sure that the Forge client is selected at the bottom left though for the mods to show up in game, and then you can start Minecraft. 
Once you've loaded into your server, you should see that the mod is working. Keep in mind though that you will have to copy the hostname at the main VPS dashboard and paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft in order to join your server. Once you're in game, you can press V on your keyboard to access the mod options menu. If you click on settings, there are a bunch of options you can mess around with. You can turn your volume up or down. You can toggle the push to talk mode or voice detection mode. With the tabs at the bottom, you can also select which microphone you want to use and the speaker. Back on the menu though, you can also create groups. This means you can talk in private with a selected number of people on the server and the other players won't be able to hear you. You can also mute your microphone or disable the voice chat completely. This mod adds a lot of other cool features, so we recommend going over to server.pro and trying this out for yourself on a server with some friends. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching!